Well, here we are in the cottage garden on Wednesday the 5th of March 2014. Uh, we've been working in the garden now for the last uh, two or three weeks, so I'm going to take you back a couple of weeks to the first video I took, um, and then I'll, uh, I'll see you again shortly, and then I'll take you around the garden to see what we've done since. So, bye for now. Well, it's February the 18th, 2014, and we're outside the uh, cottage in the garden because we're now going to make a start on getting the garden tidied up for the new year. So, let's have a look what it looks like now. So, as you can see, the uh, front garden has uh, died back quite a lot now. A uh, new patch of grass there that I put in from when we had the pool. Uh, all of this, I want to try and chop down and push back take out some of the uh, some of these trees I'll leave some for a bit of a a, a barrier and there's a nice view over the over the hedge and the famous bower but the main area of course will be getting this uh, veg garden into some sort of shape so let's go and have a look at what it looks like now I'll put some boards down so that uh, we don't uh, kill ourselves. Got some people from the youth offending team coming tomorrow. So I'm just going to take you a walk down the garden. We've made a bit of a space here to put all the, the rubbish for the time being. And there's the, the shed. And perhaps put another shed here eventually. And then down here. Uh, this is obviously the old raspberry canes and fruit bushes. It's got to be tidied up. Right down to the bottom, there's a big gate here onto the field. And some sort of well or something down there. Now these trees I want to try and take down this year. So I'm going to get the old chainsaw on them on later on. Some more bits of rubbish in here that have got to be got rid of. That's all our, part of our garden as well. And so we have another look up the top. All the way down here. Some big old logs there need drying out so we can use them. The post here on the floor is coming back up. And some net in here, just have to sort that out. So here we go again, further up. As you can see, all of this get another good sort out tomorrow, get rid of all this bits of piping and wire and stuff. There's some of uh, the stuff that Kate Harry Bands sorted out last summer. And some uh, older um, frames there. I think that's where he had his compost bins down there and all these sorted out. Lots of wood there that's got to be sorted and you can see the start of the steps which have got to be cleaned out. Once we got those cleaned up and go all the way up to the top you can see what we're doing up to the fence, up to the gate. And then there's more raised beds on this side. Get them sorted out. Up there. And then uh, around here these are the, probably the area we'll start on first, is these three raised beds here. Get them back into cultivation. We'll get rid of all this, that's from the, old, the fire this year. So I'm going to bo box that up because I can use the uh, cinders for underneath the bower before I put the slabs down. Yes, yeah, so I've been tidying that space there, ready for a journey to the tip. And there's the other tree there, that's got to come out as well. And then I'll say all the fruit cages, that's the old black currant and red currant from Holland. They've got to go in, hopefully, somewhere in that corner there. So, and then that's the old woodshed that's got to come down this year. So, we'll uh, keep you informed of how things are going as the, uh, the garden um, comes on. And so from me, it's bye for now. Bye bye. Right, here we are again, Tuesday, uh, January the 25th, uh, back in the garden. We had uh, the first visit from the youth offending team, well, we'll call it a team, one member of staff, well, two members of staff and one client. Uh, and the one member of staff spent most of his time playing um, Snake on his Nokia phone in the car, apparently. But we made some progress. I also had a go at the front garden, so let's go and see where we are today. Okay, so we made a start on clearing this wall and chopping some, about some of this uh, wood here and we've obviously got some bulbs coming through all that 
has been cleared out so and we've also got rid of some all the stuff around here and there's an old broken stone trough there we have to put some more plants up there also taking that board down that was uh, pretty horrible and started accumulating some rubbish in the bower so when we clear that out we'll uh, be needing some of that to make a base to put the slabs on and but if we go down here I've put some boards down so people don't slip and go through this little gap and we come to the steps which is what the lads did last week so we can actually start seeing the, the steps being cut out and going down and today's job it's, I'd say it's Tuesday so I've got all day today and then the lads come again tomorrow afternoon so today's job he says without breaking his neck is taking these two trees down or at least attempting to um, both of these trees need to uh, come out so I've got to clear around the base of it and take the inland two trees down and preferably not the cat that seems to be sat in there at the moment <clears throat> very nice puss um, and that bush is going to come right put that bush in the front clear all this stuff here and yeah so that's the plan for today so bye for now Oh, we're back again on the 20, on the 5th of March, so let's have a wander and see what's happening in the front garden. We've been accumulating lots more rubbish as we've been clearing the back garden. As you can see, uh, that's all drying out there, um, ready for burning later on. And we've had a good clear out here, thinned out all this uh, stuff on the, uh, the wall, taking out quite a bit of uh, background uh, vegetation here eventually we'll probably um, move that lawn edging back towards the lawn once we've got quite a few daffodils coming here so we wait for them some bluebells over there so we'll wait for them to flower we've taken that silly board thing down and yeah and the sun's just come out it's looking quite nice that tree needs a bit of pruning okay well uh, just go have a look down the back garden well here we are into the back garden and the lads from the youth vending team have been again today and they've cleared all the steps so we can now walk all the way down the steps although it's a bit uh, tricky at the moment we need to fill all this uh, empty space now with some gravel or something so i can it's easier to walk on it gets quite steep down at the bottom as you can see there we are so if we just nip over here and swing around and you can see the steps going all the way back up so that's made a, a big difference i've also been clearing these two raised beds on this side and storing any useful bits of timber here which we can use for uh, repairing raised beds as you can see some are a bit uh, rotten there so we've got any timber that's usable goes in there that's my second raised bed i've cleared and i'm going to use that to start burning the stuff i'm accumulated on that top raised bed now the plan is to bring these three raised beds back into use this year for us the three raised beds here and um, we're hoping the scouts uh, the scout group want to uh, do something with them so let's have a wander along here and you'll notice on the we scan around the garden there are no trees both the trees are now down so we'll go along here and uh, the shed again have a look at where we fell the trees to the tune of I'm a lumberjack and I'm all right da, 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 da. so here we are so here's the remains of one tree it's an amazing orange color it's obviously the saps rising at the moment and there's the actual sawn up logs they need to be carted up to the top at some stage and there's the remains of the other tree stump so when we stand there's all the raspberries if we stand up here now and swing around you can see we've got a really nice view of the open countryside with no trees in the way okay so i'll just go back up to the top and then we'll say our final goodbyes for this week and we have one black cat um having a look around see what he or see she can see i think it's him i think it's tom and let's go and have a fast look around the 
view. So, things are starting to uh, take a bit of shape. So, bye for now. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.